When I found out that Bricard was coming to the boutique alone today, I wanted to pick her up myself. I wanted to give her that extra support. The only two people's opinions that matter are mine and the groom. Can I give you a hug? Yeah. Hello, my dear. How are you? I'm amazing. Are you ready yeah. to do it? Yeah. Okay, good. I'm just going to be like your fairy godmother for the day. Does that sound fun what to you? What can I ask for? I've got a few days left and I've got to find my dream dress. Otherwise, I'm walking down the aisle in my pajamas. Like, it's. Wait, hold up. <laughs> yeah. Hold up. We only have a few days left until the wedding. Yep. I'm trying to keep open-minded about dresses in the same way that I'm being open-minded about love. I would love to have that bridal moment. I want to come across like his queen. Hi, ladies. Hi. Ricard, Hi. I would love to introduce you to the wonderful Dee. Hello, lovely Hi. to meet you. Hi. And Laura. Hiya. Hi. I want to figure out first, before we start to look through all these dresses, a bit about you. My groom. He likes for me to be covered up, um, and I want to make sure he turns up, so I need to look. Of course we need to make sure he turns up. If you're wearing something not conservative, he won't turn up. No, I don't think so, because he doesn't approve of me dressing in that manner. When I met Eduardo for the first time, I was literally minding my own business. It was a really, really stormy night. And I kind of just felt like this burning in my chest and I was like whoa what on earth is that like really intense like warm feeling here and it kind of like ran throughout my body and like out through my toes and it was just like something passed over me and this kind of whole like feeling just went throughout my body and that's how he first introduced himself. I want to make sure I'm understanding this completely accurately. <laughs> okay. Eduardo is a ghost. Eduardo is dead. OK. OK. He is a Victorian soldier. He is so handsome. He's a little bit of a rebel. I kind of feel like he was almost like a rock star in a former life. He excites me. Let me get comfortable real <laughs> It's not real comfortable. Um, OK. You know what? Love's love. You found the one you want to marry. You need to find a dress. I do. You have, what, three days? Pressure's on. Wow, OK. Let's look through dresses. <laughs> Brookhard's story is kind of difficult to get your head around, but we're not here to judge anyone. Everyone deserves a chance to feel special and look gorgeous. You might be open to any shape. Yeah. As long as it covers enough. I'm... Yeah, I say I'm open, but you might find I'm not. OK, let's look through and yeah. figure it out. I hate this. Like, Eduardo would die. Oh, again? Oh, but the back. Like, oh, the back and the front. <laughs> like, Eduardo is going to hate that. He's a little bit of a temperamental character in terms of what my wedding dress would look like. It's That's awesome. actually quite beautiful. Amazing. So we've got one. Yeah. It's not just her making the decision, it's also Eduardo, and I have literally no idea what he might think. But she seems excited about the dress. Laura, my love, would you mind going back there and getting her started in this? Of course, I am so Exciting. excited. I'm going to join you in just a moment. OK. Laura, thank you so much. Woo. Thank you, Brookard. I'm so, so picky when it comes to dresses that it's going to be a massive challenge to find the one. Ricard is marrying a ghost. She's chosen a chic black dress to try on, and yes, it's unconventional, but it kind of feels perfectly fitting for today. My gosh, I hope she likes it. And if Eduardo is here, please like this too. <laughs> oh, it's okay. gorge. Does dating a ghost and marrying a ghost complicate personal relationships? I think it's probably just the equivalent to having a partner that everyone hates. Having this kind of secret romance where you want to run away and you want to elope, it's kind of like, it kind of adds to the fun and it adds to the excitement and the fact that you don't have to get other people's approval and you don't have to like introduce him to your friends and take him on nights out, I think that kind of makes 
our bonds stronger because it is literally just the two of us against the world. Now open your eyes. <laughs> oh. There's no doubt that it is completely stunning. It is a gorgeous dress. But for a wedding, I don't know if I feel like a bride. OK, this first dress got us absolutely nowhere. I'm going to choose the dress this time. One that has the modesty that Eduardo wants, the silhouette that she wants, but the colour that just might make her feel that bit more bridal. Ooh, OK. <laughs> Close your eyes. OK, you may look. Whoa. OK, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I don't know what I was expecting, but <laughs> it's more flattering in the reflection than it feels. Because oh. it feels, because of the sleeves, maybe, it feels, it feels like baggy. Yeah. But actually. It is so I, demure. I just like the way it swoosh. Oh, yeah. It's whimsical. <laughs> it is quite whimsical. Eduardo is an absolute dream boat. He keeps me on my toes, which is what I need. His presence is quite sexy and quite sexual because if someone can control your body and take a hold of your body, mm -hmm. then it is. You don't need me to spell it out. <laughs> Orgasmic. The word she's looking for is orgasmic. <laughs> the word that I will not say <laughs> is that. <laughs> OK. I think this is the one. Wow. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. <laughs> but yes, no? Yes. Oh, my god. Yes. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe there's a miracle. Maybe Eduardo will turn up and actually say, this is the dress. Now that's the wedding dress. Yeah. Now I'm a bride. It is absolutely gorgeous. This was the first time that I felt like a bride, and I think that's what I came here searching for. I want every bride to have that special memory of finding their dress. No matter who they're marrying or what, I'm so glad we were able to do that for Picard. And um, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Being here today has really hit home that this wedding is going ahead. We should cheers to Eduardo turning up. To Eduardo. Literally cannot wait to get down the aisle. <laughs> <laughs>